Let's talk about storming the immigration castle. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. I am reading Stephen King's new novel. It's called Fairy Tale. And in that tale, there's a story of a young man, a teenager, who gets brought into a fairy tale. And in that fairy tale, he has to go into a castle. And it got me thinking, boy, I couldn't think of a better analogy for USCIS and the United States than a castle. The United States is like a big castle, and it has lots of defenses, lots of ways of keeping people from entering the United States. There's a big moat. There's agents with harsh-sounding names like Homeland Security and ICE doing everything that they can to keep immigrants outside the United States. And so I really started playing around with this, and I sort of like it. You know, I used to think of immigration and the work that we do as trying to get people onto an island, an island of safety, like an island of citizenship, we called it. Get all the people we can out of the water, across the water, into the United States, and into valid immigration status, and therefore on Citizenship Island. But it's become so much more than that. It's become so much harder to get basic immigration services and basic immigration benefits that I think the analogy of a castle is a whole lot stronger. You know, as an immigration lawyer, then, our job is to figure out how to get you inside the castle. And once you're in the castle, then we have to figure out how to get you to citizenship. And it's a really, a really good analogy, I think. And I think it's very powerful because when I think about all the ways that USCIS tries to keep people from getting inside the United States, the analogy is perfect. You know, they come up with all these rules and procedures, and they have all these ways of of keeping you from being able to get a hold of them. When I was a new immigration lawyer, you could actually call immigration and talk to a person, and that person knew about your case, and that person could answer your questions. In fact, back then, you could come downtown to your local field office, knock on the door of the castle, and actually be brought in and talk to a live person. But that's not the deal anymore. Now they have all these ways of keeping you from being able to get any information. Now, they say that they put some things online and that there's ways for you to get information that way, but it's really not the same thing. And then, of course, we have notices of intent to deny and requests for evidence. We have all these procedural mechanisms, which in my mind sort of seem like arrows, like they're trying to shoot you down and keep you from getting into the castle, and they try to prevent you from getting your case approved. So if you think about it, it's really what's going on these days. And of course, we had an evil king for four years in the castle who was doing everything he can to hurt and harm and scare the immigrants from entering the castle. Now, after four years of that, we have sort of a benevolent old king who I believe is well-intentioned but hasn't done much to change the castle, to make it easier to enter, to call back his agents and to ease life on immigrants trying to get into the castle. So our job as immigration lawyers is always to help you get into that castle. And we could say, oh, let's just knock on the door. Hello, we're here. We want to help you help our client get into the castle. Will you let us in? That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is going in full force to do everything we can to use every tool in our arsenal to help our immigrants get across the moat, across the bridge, over the wall, into the castle, into safety, into the place that they want to be. That's our job. And my daughter has been saying it for a long time that I needed to use the the phrase hacking immigration because that's my last name to use that more. And really that's what we're doing. We're trying to hack our way into the castle. And I don't mean to bring up any violent um, images or metaphors. I'm just trying to get you to understand that in my mind, the way I see it is just like that kid in the Stephen King novel is that it's dark. It's scary. They're pouring boiling oil down. They're shooting arrows. They're doing everything they can to keep you, the immigrant, from getting into the United States. So if you think about it that way, that's the right mindset. That's what you need to be thinking about is that there's all these ways to get into the castle, but there's also all these defenses trying to keep you from getting in. I hope this all makes sense. I hope it's not too much. I think it's it's a pretty good metaphor. I think it might help you understand the philosophy of those agents sitting across from you at immigration, those people who are trying to keep you from getting into the castle to the safety that you want and that you deserve. If you want our help, 
We're going to do a whole lot more than knocking on the door for you. We're going to do everything we can. If we have to sue them, if we have to file tons and tons of evidence, if we have to get you ready over and over for your interview, we're going to do all those things to help you get not just into the island, but I'm talking about inside the castle because that's where you want to be. If you want our help, if you want us to fight for you because that's what we do, if you want us to help you fight and get inside, give us a call, 314-961-8200. You can email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. Be sure to join us in our Facebook group. It's called Immigrant Home, and Immigrant Home is inside the castle. We want to get you in there with us. Be sure to join us in there. You can talk about your immigration case for free. Again, if you're wanting to hire us, you can email us at info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. And then, of course, we have our YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about my new castle analogy on today's show. And we're probably going to be using it more and more, so you'll probably be hearing about it more and more. But don't forget, we go live a few days a week trying to teach you all the ways inside the castle. And that's on our YouTube live show, which is also streamed on our Facebook group. Thanks a lot and have a great day.